What's a really awkward situation that everyone can relate with? Every drag you shoe across a tile floor and have it make a loud, wet, fart sound so everyone in the room looks at you. Then you insist it was your shoe and try to make the sound again, but nothing happens. Yeah, that and leather couches. And then you try to keep moving around to replicate it, to show everyone that it's actually the couch, but it never does. So you just sit in there avoiding eye contact. No, never happened to me. <laughs> when you're next in line at the grocery store with your mom and she leaves you to just get one more thing and the anxiety and awkwardness because you're up and she's nowhere to be found. That'll be 105.68 euros, sir. Cash or credit card? Mom is at the very end of the supermarket, hesitating between two different shampoo bottles. Should she take the one that prevents greasy hair or the one that prevents dry hair? She'll never know. Guess I'll have to pay this grocery bill by selling myself into child slavery. When you think you hung up the phone, but you didn't, and proceed to say something inflattering about the person you were talking to. Or when you called the wrong person. When I was about five, I called my grandma to sing happy birthday. And when I finally got to the last verse, a middle-aged man interrupted me to tell I've got the wrong number. When you've had multiple interactions with someone, but you can't remember their name, but it's gone too far to admit you've forgotten it, so you just have to call them love or mate forever. I met this guy in my math class at the beginning of the semester, and I never caught his name. We became friends, and now it's the end of the semester, and I still don't know his name, not sure how to ask. I once got set up on a blind date by a friend. The guy was her brother. I unfortunately didn't catch his name though. So when he shows up to pick me up, I'm like, you must be Eleni's brother, a mama cut 13, hoping he'd say his name. He didn't. We dated a few weeks before I saw a bottle for his asthma meds in his car and got his name from that. I have a trick for this. Start being more loving to them, eventually getting into a relationship. As this moves further, propose and they'll ask yes. And then when you're getting married, wait till the pastor turns and says, and will you person name marry your name? And boom, you now know their name. What if we're having sex and she tells me to say her name? No, 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 you misunderstand. This is why sex comes after marriage. <laughs> When you go to someone's house and their big ass dog won't stop jumping on you or licking you or shoving their nose in your crotch. They love a good crotch. You should take that as a compliment. My friend's dog would come lay in front of us and just start licking his dick. Like unsheathed it and just went to town. No one seemed to mind. Dog dicks. When they're poking out is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. They creep me out. I have a funny story about this. I'm a house cleaner and went to this nice lady's house for a first time clean. She had this big friendly dog and he was so cute. My partner and I start cleaning and this dog walks up to me and starts humping me while nearly knocking me over. I try to nicely get the dog off. But every time I turn my back on him, he starts humping me again. I felt so bad yelling at this dog in a stranger's house. I had to have my partner keep watching my back for me because he wouldn't leave me alone. When you think someone waves at you, so you wave back, but they were waving at someone behind you. It's happened to me so many times that there are times that I see no one waving and smiling, wonder if they're smiling at me, then just completely look away. Only to realize after that it was someone I know and I ignored them. Awkward then and awkward afterwards. Not long ago at church, we were asked to turn and greet people. I turned around and the guy said hi to me and stuck his hand out to shake. I went for it and realized he was talking to the woman beside me. She and I both ended up with a hand in his hand at the same time trying to shake it. They both looked at me and I quickly turned around and pretended it didn't happen, which made it more awkward. And then rest of the service, I couldn't stop laughing about it. This is standard for me.
Awkward church laughter is the worst, especially if you're trapped between people and can't excuse yourself to leave and get a handle on it privately. Also particularly bad if it happens during a funeral. When you reply to a stranger who says hello, but then realize they were on the phone and not speaking to you. Happened to me just yesterday and I didn't get any sleep last night as I couldn't stop reliving the moment. Airpods have made this one so much more common. It's really annoying, especially if you work in retail. When you say a funny joke, but all you get is silence. I did this on a Zoom staff meeting yesterday. It was worse online somehow. Now you're that guy in the office. Also, when you realize you've forgotten something and need to turn around, but you don't want to just turn around abruptly because that will make you look insane. So you do a little performance where you get your phone out, pretend to check a message, sort of meme, haha, and then turn around or across the street and then turn around to throw any observers off the scent. Just want to let you know that I may have seen you do that if you did it on a mall in Boston and I still remember it. Feeling very seen right now. When you're having a conversation with someone and you don't hear what they say, so you ask them to repeat and they do, but you still don't hear it and ask them to repeat again and they do, and you still don't know what they said, do you ask them to repeat again and maybe still not hear it? Pretend you heard it and nod the head and hope it's an appropriate response. Stab yourself in the eye with a pen to create a diversion and change the subject. It's called auditory processing disorder. I always say, huh? Just as I figured out what they said. Just laugh. Just laugh, say yeah, and hope they didn't just tell you their dad just died. That walk down a long hallway toward each other, where you're clearly seeing the other person, but they're too far away to say something. So you do the awkward look around until you get close enough to say hey and keep walking. I work in an office above a warehouse, and the hallway goes the length of the entire warehouse. It's like that never-ending hotel hallway in The Shining. There are departments all along the hallway, so people come out of doors from each end. It's the worst to start walking from one end and someone comes out from a door at the other, and I'm just praying inside they enter into another door before we get to each other, but it never happens. We always end up crossing paths, but until that point I'm looking everywhere but at that person, looking into other offices, pulling my phone out for no reason to look at it. The only saver is when you have a box of paperwork in your hands that you can focus on and then... When the other person is within five feet of you, they say hey, say hey and keep walking. It's utter misery every time I have to go into the hallway, which is a lot. Go to wash your hands and the water comes out at a thousand miles an hour, splashing your crotch. You are of course at work. Standing there while two people talk about something you don't know about. I have to poop and giggle. Let them figure out which is more awkward. I think you misunderstood the term for shit and giggles. When you're in a public bathroom and someone tries to open the door even though it's locked. Or when they gaze at you through the one centimeter gap between the door and partition. That is the worst, such a violation. How dare you to make eye contact with me while I'm shamefully trying to shit in a public bathroom. I never locked the door. This is a great way to meet new people.